Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode six of the Clear Vision Podcast. I'm your boy, uh, Samuel McMillan. Appreciate you uh, for tuning in. So glad uh, that you are able to, to watch this video or wherever this video may be finding you, okay? Um, I don't know how long or how short this is going to be. This, this might be five minutes. I don't know. Um, but what I do know is that God has a word for you. And I, I don't want to, uh, uh, to sit up here and, and, and gloss over the fact that there are a lot of people that come to these videos. You come to, uh, to, to, to listen to a, to a, to a podcast, a Christian podcast or somebody preaching or something like that. And, and you, you tell yourself, uh, whether verbally or mentally or whatever inside of you somewhere, uh, you tell yourself that this word is not for you. Uh, and can we just kick down the wall of pride that stands in the way and says, I can't hear from God. God doesn't want to talk to me uh, or the wall of ignorance or whatever you want to frame that wall for yourself. There is a wall that is stopping you from hearing from God. And I want to just tear that wall down right now. So within yourself, even if you have to say it out loud, just tell yourself, or if you're sitting with somebody or a group, just tell them this word is for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just tell yourself this, this word is for me. I, I, I am capable of hearing from God, no matter where I am uh, at all. As long as I give him room, he is able to fill the room. A -a Amen. So um, I, I just want to get that out the way before we even start talking about what we're talking about. And um, this has been on my mind for a very long time. Anybody that knows me in my inner circle or whatever the case is, uh, I've been on a freedom binge for a very long time. Um, and in, in, in my personal belief that there are too many people on this earth uh, that claim to be Christians that are walking around broken, you're shackled up, you're in chains, you're in bondage. Uh, you you are dealing with stuff that seems insurmountable. You can't overcome it. Uh, you, you can't seem to go. Th you can't seem to see the finish line of whatever you're going through. And can I tell you, there's a God out there that sees you. He understands you. He understands your circumstances, and He wants you free. I, I I I don't know who that's going to be for, but there's somebody out there that needs to know. You are not alone for the Lord. Your God is at your side and he's ready to free you this very moment. <laughs> he is ready to free you. He's ready to set you free. He's ready to heal you. And he is ready for you to be all in for him. Okay. And I posed this question a couple weeks ago and I'm going to pose the same question to you. Okay. G God is ready willing and able to free you. The question is, are you ready to give him your yes? Are you ready to give him your yes? He's ready to move. Are you ready to give him the room to move? And here's what I mean by that. Here's what, here's, here's what I mean by, oh, well, before I even get to that, let me just introduce the title of this. And so the title of this episode, good God have mercy is be free in Jesus name. I, I don't know where you are, who you are, where you may be listening to this, where you may be watching this, but he wants you free right now. Let's pray. Lord, I pray that you free us from whatever mountain, whatever valley, whatever chains, whatever shackles, whatever bondage, whatever yoke we are in or carrying. <laughs> For you are greater than everything that we could ever face on this earth. And Lord, I pray that as we submit to you, we find healing in you. That you set us free by the power of your spirit. Thank you for the freedom that you freely give. And we pray that you set us free this very moment. It's in your holy and precious name. If you're sitting with somebody or if by yourself, you ought to just say amen and amen. Uh, here we go. We're just going to jump right in. We're in Colossians 3, and we're just going to go verse 1 and 2. I'm pretty sure I've read this verse somewhere on this podcast before, but we're going to go in here because this is where you get set free at. OK, and I want to make sure that we have a clear understanding of what God is trying to get us to see 
in these two verses. Okay. Verse one, uh, since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Here's what that means. Since then you have been set apart with him. You have been raised with him and you have been called by him and you've been set apart by him. And so since all of those things have happened, he's saying, since then you have been raised with him, set your heart where he is. What does that mean? You have to take your mind off of your situation Stop making your situation bigger than your God. And that's if I had to make that a point, point number one would be stop making your situations bigger than your God. He knows what situations you're in. He sees what you're in. Stop making them bigger than God. You have to stop doing that. And here's why. Because the moment your problems become bigger than God, you t- you are giving your problem the space God needs. You're giving your problems the space that God needs. Why would I give my why would I give an external problem more space in my life? There is no point. I would rather let God fill that space with his presence. I'd rather let God fill that space with his peace. I'd rather let God fill that space with his freedom than to let a problem situation or circumstance overtake that. I would much rather. And here's the, here's the thing that I think a lot of us are doing. We, we, we are submitting to our problems rather than submitting to our savior. You ought to tweet that. We 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 are submitting to our problems rather than submitting to a holy savior. He wants you free. But the problem is you refuse to submit to him because of his timing. He might be quote unquote moving too slow when we serve an on time God that moves right on time. We refuse to submit to a holy savior. We refuse to give him our yes. And I think that's what keeps a lot of people stuck where they are, is that you refuse to give God your yes and wait on his timing. For his timing is perfect. And yet we still grow impatient. And we don't submit ourselves to the one that already knows. We'd rather take our problems in our own hands. We don't set our focus on him. Instead, we focus on our problems. We blow up our problems and make them bigger than they actually are. And that's what Jesus, he's saying, why don't you try the flip side for a change? Why don't you set your heart on things above where I already am seated? Here's the thing. If you set your sights on him, you'll drop what's in your hand. The gravity at which you stare at a holy savior will cause you to drop what you're carrying. He wants you focused on him, no longer focused on your situation. Then God have mercy. Seated at the right hand of God, verse two. And, and then I'm, and then I'm, I'm going I'm to close this thing out here and just give you time to do whatever you have to do. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Notice that in these two verses, we can already tell that he wants all of you and not just a part of you. We've gone over that before on multiple podcasts. He wants all of you. When you give him all of you, there lies freedom. (laughs) When you give him, when you decide, I can no longer do this on my own. I need a Lord and a savior. And when you give him, when you submit all of you to who he is, you find freedom. You find freedom. But yet we refuse to submit to a savior. And I just want to encourage you. I don't know where you are in life right now. I don't know who you are, uh, uh, who, what, or whatever you have going on right now in your life and in your situation. 
but he wants you free. Yeah. He's sick of his people walking broken. He's tired of watching you struggle. He's tired of watching you sit there dealing with the same thing over and over and over again. He's tired of watching you practice sin over and over and over again. He's tired of watching you being in bondage over and over and over again. He wants you free. The question is, are you ready to give him your yes? That's what he's waiting on. The moment you say yes and the moment you submit your life to him, watch you get set free. But he's waiting. He's waiting on you. A lot of times we get caught up in situations and circumstances and it's our fault. <laughs> when God never intended us, intended for us to be in that situation for all this time. But yet we find ourselves here because it's our fault. Because we don't recognize there's a God that's greater than our current circumstances. I'd rather submit myself to a holy savior than submit myself to a un, to a, what's the word I'm looking for? To a, to a, to, to a, to a unholy sin or to a unholy situation or to something that is completely catastrophic to where I would not have foreseen myself in a situation for however long I've been in it, five years, 10 years, a month, six months, 12 months. I'd rather submit myself to a holy savior than to an unholy sin. Would you pray with me? Whoo, God set us free. <laughs> there are too many of us broken. There are too many of us hurting, longing for freedom. God, we are praying that your supernatural power would enter our lives right now. Lord, as we give you our yes, we're giving you room to move. We're giving you room to operate. We're giving you room to have surgery. We're giving you room to set us free, to break chains, to remove bondages and yokes that we've had and held on to for so long. In you, we find freedom. Nowhere else can we find it. Nothing else has the power to set us free except for Jesus. We are asking that you transform our lives right now. We're asking that you heal us everywhere we've been broken. And then Lord, when you set us free, we are living for you. We're not turning back to the old situation. We're not turning back to our old circumstance. We are moving forward in the freedom you have given us. We are wholeheartedly serving you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. <clears throat> amen. Amen. Well, I hope you got something out of this. This is just the comeback of the Clear Vision podcast or the coming back from the rebranding of the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. We greatly appreciate you. Um, and yeah, man, we will see you in episode seven in the studio <laughs> of episode seven of the Clear Vision podcast. Hopefully we'll have a special guest there as well um yeah we will see you then uh for episode seven of the clear vision podcast whatever that's going to be <laughs> we'll just let the lord move and then whatever he does he does so uh, thank you so much for tuning in appreciate you have a great rest of your day week whatever whenever or wh whenever you're watching this uh i pray that the lord bless you and he frees you that was good bro <laughs>